Have you ever wondered where a river ends? Or perhaps, where it begins to disappear? This is a question that resonates profoundly with our world today, as we grapple with the alarming reality of vanishing rivers. Across the globe, rivers are disappearing at an unprecedented rate, and it's not just a matter of them drying up during a hot summer. The rivers are losing their battle with climate change, succumbing to rising temperatures and erratic weather patterns. Overextraction for agricultural and industrial use is draining them dry, leaving behind parched riverbeds. The construction of dams, while beneficial for power generation and water supply, is also choking off the natural flow of rivers. These factors combined are causing rivers once the arteries of our planet to vanish. Rivers, the cradles of ancient civilizations, the threads that wove together cultures and ecosystems, are now fading into oblivion. But why is this happening? Let's delve deeper into this pressing issue. The reasons for river disappearance are as varied as they are alarming. The first significant factor is excessive groundwater extraction. As our societies continue to grow, so does our thirst for water. We are pumping it out from underground reserves faster than nature can replenish them, causing rivers to dry up. The second major culprit is dam construction. While dams can provide us with renewable energy and water storage, they also disrupt the natural flow of rivers, sometimes to the point of complete stoppage. The third, and perhaps the most ominous reason, is climate change. Rising global temperatures result in faster evaporation rates and changing rainfall patterns. This can lead to rivers drying up in some areas, while causing floods in others. In essence, the disappearance of rivers is not a random act of nature. It's a direct consequence of our actions. The disappearance of rivers, therefore, is not a natural disaster, but a man-made catastrophe. The disappearance of rivers is not just about losing a body of water, it's about losing life. When rivers vanish, it's not only the ecosystem that gets disrupted, but human settlements and agriculture are also severely affected. Imagine a world where the cascading waterfalls and the serene riverbanks are replaced by barren landscapes. The loss of these rivers can lead to a severe water scarcity threatening the survival of numerous species and leaving us parched and struggling. Moreover, the biodiversity that thrives in these aquatic habitats would be lost forever. From the tiniest microorganisms to the majestic river dolphins, all would suffer the brunt of our actions. And let's not forget about agriculture. Rivers are the lifelines for many crops, providing them with the necessary water and nutrients. Without these flowing bodies, we might witness a significant drop in our food production, leading to increased competition for resources. In the end, it isn't just the rivers that disappear, but life as we know it.